back again at the Trojan Classic. They tip off in the second round championship semifinals here in Hillsboro. Clay Center getting set to face Republic County. Let's give you a look at the TVL matchups today. It's the girls' brackets being played. A consolation game will start things off, and that will feature the Clifton Clyde Lady Eagles, and they take on the Blue Valley Lady Rams. That's at 4.30. So when we wrap up here, we'll send you to Omega with Cliff Casper on that call. Then at 6 p.m., it's Washington County and Axel in a championship semifinal game. And at 7.30, the Lynn Bulldog girls, who, of course, knocked off Valley Heights, will take on Centralia. That game set the tip at 7.30. And then back here for the boys of Clay Center, who face Wiley County in that consolation semifinal. They're about ready for the starting lineups to be announced. We're about ready to get you set for tip-off here from Hillsboro. We'll take another time out. When we come back, we'll get it going here in Hillsboro. At Patterson's Health Mart Pharmacy, the pharmacists are committed to making sure you understand the instructions that allow your prescriptions to be taken safely and effectively. They'll take the time to counsel you and set your mind at ease concerning your medications. Patterson's has health care aids such as walkers, canes, and lift chairs to help you with your daily mobility needs. Putting the care into health care is Patterson's Health Mart Pharmacy with locations in Clay Center, Abilene, and Salina. For brutally cold Kansas winters like ours, you don't need the performance of your fuel to drop. Not when you can fill up with winterized premium diesel fuels at Farmway owned fueling sites. Unlike other winterized fuel, Farmway fueling sites contain a 50 50 blend with number one diesel that gives you serious weather protection while optimizing power and fuel economy. So don't worry, just fill up at a Farmway fueling site or request a 50 50 blend for your farm fuel deliveries. We know you're busy and we have just the product for you. It's secure, it's convenient, it's easy. No time to make a deposit at the bank? Click it with UBT's new mobile deposit service. Simply sign, click, and submit your check image for deposit. Speak with your local branch representative on qualification details on mobile deposit. United Bank and Trust. You bank, we deliver. Member FDIC. Mobile remote deposits functional on iPhone and Android apps only. Data rates may apply. Check with your mobile phone carrier for details. The Northeast Kansas first trials are in, and the Old East Seed 2414 Corn Hybrid takes first place with an impressive 208.6 bushel performance, outperforming 35 other hybrids in four locations. And if you're concerned about managing risk this season, ask about our new drought guard hybrids that are delivering record yields. Contact Old East Seed today at 877-692-4555. That's 877-692-4555. Once again, back at Hillsboro, about set for the opening tip-off here as a place for the Lady Tigers take on the Buffaloes of Republic County. Here's how the starting lineups will look. Make sure we don't have an anthem jumping in on that I'm not aware of. Okay, the starting lineups for Republic County. Madison Scott, a 5-5 sophomore. She had 4.4 assists in the opening game Tuesday against Hillsboro. Bryn Hobelman, a 5-5 senior. Kenzie Johnson, we mentioned she's been the leading scorer throughout the season, a 5-4 sophomore. She had eight rebounds Tuesday in the matchup against Hillsboro. Joni Sheets, 5'8", and a senior, and Ashley Pock have five points on Tuesday. She's a 5'9", junior. The Lady Tigers have Lauren Williams, eight points a game, almost two assists per contest, a 5'4", senior. 5'9", senior Macy Franson, along she's averaging at 11 points a ball game. The Lady Tigers also have Emily Ebert in the starting lineup as they get set to open it up here. And the opening tip is controlled by Republic County. Ebert's averaging over two points over four boards a game. Mac Edmondson, a 5'6", senior. 2.1 point, points and nearly two rebounds. And Macy Diekman, 5'11 and a senior, 6.6 points, five and a half boards for contest. Republic County looks at Lady Tiger defense. They get it inside in the eraser, an early block shot. Diekman, now the offensive rebound, comes down to Republic County and then basketball off of Republic County on the stick back try. Proctor got the first offensive, or the shot inside, had it blocked by Diekman and an offensive board brought in and a stick back try there went out of bounds. Lady Tigers have their first offensive look. Lauren Williams has it out top and deep, gives it off left to Macy Diekman, who gives it now to Mac Edmondson. Ebert trying to post it inside. They go wing right to Franson. Macy back outside for Edmondson. Now around right to Williams. Wing left, I should say. Now back out deep between the circles to Edmondson. Back around right to Franson. High post is Diekman. Macy squares up, kicks it out to Lauren Williams. Really clogging the lane right now is Republic County. They get it to Edmondson on the baseline left. The Ebert looks inside. Diekman takes it up strong and low with the left hand. It's overshot, and the rebound weak side comes away to Kenzie Johnson of Republic County. Just 5-4, had eight rebounds on Tuesday against Hillsborough, along with those 20 points. So no score yet 
A minute 10 into this opening period. Out top of the basketball is Pocta. She'll go right on the wing. Back outside is Kenzie Johnson. Now they'll skip it on the left wing across to Joni Sheets. In the post, they get it on the inside high. Brian Fobelman, baseline right runner on the way, is going to be strong. Weak side rebound ripped away by Emily Ebert. And the Lady Tigers have it back. Still scoreless with six and a half to go first quarter. Lauren Williams. Parts out of play as she brings it across the timeline. Now to deep in the left wing, beyond the arc. Looks at the bucket, now kicks it out deeper to Macy Francic. Republic County and a man, a man, but really sagging inside. They leave Ebert alone for two. It's strong. Rebound comes off to Pacta, and Republic County has it back. Still no score. Both teams scoreless through the first two minutes of the ball game. It is brought up the floor by Madison Scott, 5'5", five, five, sophomore point guard, working against Lauren Williams, Lady Tigers, and a man, to man. Five count on. Now she gets inside, shot high over Diekman. No good. Rebound, Franson had it. Couldn't bring it down. Pass goes back outside for Republic County. Now a three ball right wing up and good by Kinsey Johnson. A sophomore at 5'4". She is averaging over 15 points a game, and she has gone past 20, 20 or more on about five occasions on the season. She gets a three-pointer here. She had 20 on Tuesday against the Trojans of Hillsborough. Right side baseline is Mac Edmondson. She'll kick it way outside to Lauren Williams. Now back right for Edmondson. Works it toward the baseline. Wing right is Diekman. Skip to Franson. She'll attack with the dribble to the lane. Stripped away. Lost and taken away by Republic County. Bryn Holman has it. And the Buffaloes with a 3 nothing lead bring it back the other direction. Holman across the midcourt line. That goes right on the wing. This is going to be Pocket. At the top of the key, they get it to Holman again. Left wing is Madison Scott. Back out top, they swing it right to Joni Sheets. Sheets to the wing right. That went to Johnson, the three-point arsonist from a moment ago. 3 nothing. Republic County the lead. Good defense. Lauren Williams forces the turnover. She knocks it away from Madison Scott, and it went off of Scott and out of bounds. Now, Courtney Hamill will come on for the Lady Tigers, and she'll join the post with Macy Diekman inside as Hebert comes out for a breather. Williams will bring it up. Franson and Edmondson also on the floor. If he Tigers with a basketball down by a triple, 440 left to work. High post. They get it inside. Here's Franson posting up. Shot is up. No good. May have been bumped on the arm, but nothing called. She missed that pretty wild to the right, which isn't typical with Macy Franson. So rebound comes down to Republic County. Here's Scott with a drive inside the lane. Shot up. Missing short. Rebound to Potka. Shot blocked by Deakman. A foul is going to be called in two free throws. For Republic County. And this will be Ashley Pockett who will get that opportunity at the line after the whistle blows. And it goes against Mac Edmondson. So Deakman had the block clean up top, but Edmondson to reach in, they call down low the first whistle of the game on either team. The free throw line, Pockett knocks in the first charity. And it's a 4 nothing start for the Buffaloes of Republic County as they have the early lead. Two substitutions in for the Buffaloes with Pocket still one free throw coming her way. She made the first, second one is also in. So a 5 nothing start for Republic County. Now they throw some pressure at play center. Deakman in the backcourt gives it to Courtney Hamill, who brings it across herself. Now crosses over against Indra Scott, who had just checked in. Off to Franson, back out deep for Edmondson. Now a true 3 2 zone look appears from, there they are, following Macy Franson for sure, man-to-man, but they really are switching and sagging off in the middle, almost looks like a zone, although they are matched up man-to-man. Pocta, though, not coming much out of the paint down low in the lane. At the high post is Hamill. Down inside, here's Macy Deakman up in the left hand, and she's got her first field goal, and the Lady Tigers' first bucket, it's 5-2. to two. Good pass from Courtney Hamill, high post, low post. And the eraser puts it in off the glass. It's 5-2. Here comes Republic County the other way. The defense out top by Hamill. Right wing, they swing it around now to Audrey Sheets, the sophomore. Left on the wing and deep is the dribble drive from Joni Sheets. She's the senior. Now it's going to be a pull-up shot for Madison Scott. Missing. Rebound comes off to Courtney Hamill up the right sideline. Back Edmondson. Edmondson stops and kicks it out top now to Lauren Williams. 5-2 ball game. Lady Tigers down by a triple, but back with the basketball. Hamill left on the wing. Good look for Williams for the three ball. It's tough and it's good. The Lone Ranger knocks one in earlier. We're tied up at five apiece. Kick out to the left wing, and Williams had a chance to set and string it, and she did. 5-5 ball game. 
Scott brings it across for Republic County. Williams pressuring out top. Works it toward the baseline. Picked up now by Franson, and she lost it out of bounds. This will be Clay Center's basketball. Back on for Republic County will come Kimsey Johnson, Bryn Hobelman, and also they will bring back in, uh, in for the first time, I should say, Casey Benishek. 5-5 five, five ball game, 245 to work first quarter. Play center a chance to have their first lead of the game. They trailed 5 nothing to start. They've scored five unanswered. Here's Branson right wing. She wants the three. It's strong. Rebound inside. Deakman breaks it away, and Play Center has another possession. Branson off to Williams out between the circles. Lauren goes right on the wing to Branson. The Cobra looking low inside the handle, and she had a great, great box up inside. She was held down low by Obelman as Courtney Hamill had her opponent pinned below the block in the lane when she received the basketball, and they called the hole. 5-5 five, five ball game. It'll be Williams the inbound. Looking in low, gets it to Courtney Hamill. Across the glass, and Clay Center has their first lead as the silent assassin puts one down the right block. 7-5, Clay Center leaps it by two. It is Johnson across the timeline, has the early three. Now a drive in low, taken up. What a move inside by Brent Hobelman. Found a seam and really attacked it. Nobody on the weak side able to get over and cover it up. So we're tied at seven with two minutes to work first quarter. Right side wing and deep is Franson. Out top to William at the high post. Deakman, wing right. Franson had a look at three. Doesn't trigger it this time. Back to Williams at the point. Now to Franson. High post. Deakman squares it up. Out top. Williams hit her first three. This one off the mark. Edmondson, though, back up and missing. Three down to Deakman. And it's going to be an over-the-back call on Macy. Deakman, her first foul. Good aggressive move to the board by Macy, but Deakman called for her first foul. A minute 40 to work in this first period. Caitlin Bonham was coming on for Clay Center. Lady Tigers in Republic County tied up at seven apiece. The winner goes on to the championship tomorrow night at 6 p.m. It will be brought up the floor by Kenzie Johnson. She's checked out top by Courtney Hamill. Johnson to the dribble. Left wing, it comes across now. Looking inside is Benishek. She'll go to the right elbow. Scott on the way, no good. And Deakman clears another board this time on a defensive end. Correction, that shot taken by Kendra Scott, not Madison Scott. 7-7 ball game. Left wing and deep is Hamill. Outside for Williams. Lauren now recues the offense as it is a straight 2-3 zone this trip for Republic County. Right wing, Williams, another three try. Just short. We were right behind the release of that shot, and I thought it was going down. It just hit the front iron. One minute left, first quarter. 7-7 ball game. Play center back defensively in the man-to-man as Madison Scott brings it across. Wing right, it goes to Benishek. Now out top, they'll swing it left. Lobbed in low. Johnson goes inside the lane. Now across right, they go to Kendra Scott. Her shot no good. Rebound tipped and a foul called against Republic County's Casey Benishek for a push on Lauren Williams. And Play center will have it back. Still tied seven to beat. Back into the game is Pacta for Republic County. 7-7 ball game. Lauren Williams will bring it up for Clay Center with 35 seconds left here in the first period. Williams across the timeline. Looks right. Gives it off instead of point to Macy Deakman. She'll turn and hand it off to Williams. Now Lauren back to the point. Hamill, Vaughn and Bluss, Deakman, Branson and Williams along with with the basketball right now, and Williams is going to go for a final shot. 13 seconds to work first quarter. Lauren just has the dribble. Now with 10, we'll start it in motion. Vaughn and Bluss, right wing. Looks further right on the wing. Williams takes the three with five. Now Vaughn and Bluss for two. Shot is strong. Rebound comes off to Madison Scott, and we'll go to the second quarter. Tied up seven apiece. A good one here in the semis. Play center seven, Republic County seven. Second quarter's on the way. The Twin Valley Color Race is back. Join us on March 21st for Clay Center's second annual color race, a fun and crazy 5K where participants are covered head to toe in color at each kilometer. Walk or run, it's all for fun. All proceeds benefit CARE, the animal shelter being built in Clay Center. In the spirit of CARE, your dog can participate too. To register, volunteer to help, and more, visit twinvalley.net slash color. We hope to see you and your friends on March 21st at the color race. When you shop at Ray's Apple Market, don't be surprised at all the lower-priced items you'll find in every aisle. It's just part of bringing more savings to you every day, every week. 
Your money will go farther when you shop at Ray's Apple Market, as they have over a thousand grocery items and household products at new lower prices. Ray's Apple Market continues to bring you value, quality, and service to ensure customers get the best of what they have to offer. This is, after all, your town, your store. One quarter in, and the Play Center Lady Tigers are knotted up right now after eight minutes of play at seven apiece against Republic County, and Play Center will have the basketball to start the second quarter. Lauren Williams goes right to Caitlin Bonnenblust. Hamill, Franson, Diekman still out there. At the top of the key, here's Hamill. High-arching three ball is off the mark left. Rebound comes away to Republic County. Set play, it looked like, out of the break. Double screen up top for Hamill, and she had a decent look, maybe a bit rushed after she caught it and ended up with a shot that missed right. 7-7 ball game, just underway in the second quarter. Right side wing with the basketball is Brent Holbelman. Now it comes across, dribble drive by Madison Scott over to draw the charge. It's Caitlin Barbless, and she does. We'll head the other way as the charge is called against Madison Scott. So Clay Center gets it back. First foul against the 5-5 sophomore guard who attacked the lane. And it will be the Lady Tigers back with the basketball. Down on the right wing is Franson. Skipped across now to the baseline and low to Diegman. Back out left wing, Hamill. Top of the key, Williams. Makes the three. High post to Diegman. Left on the wing, Hamill. Looked at a three. Now gives it to Bonnebluff. Back outside for Courtney. At the top is Williams. One minute into the second quarter. High post, Diekman. Now to William. Back right. Franson, good look for three on its way and short. Rebound taken down by Bonnebluff. Clay Center's got another possession. Now out top for Williams. Back inside. Diekman, great catch in traffic. Now turns, puts it out top for Williams. Three ball on its way. Strong. Rebound to Hamill. Back up and in. Courtney Hamill has her second field goal. It's 9-7. Clay Center by two. Madison Scott will walk it up the floor here for... Republic County, the Lady Tigers, who trailed 5 nothing to start this ball game, now have a 9-7 lead here in the second quarter. Inside the lane, good looking low, given to Hobelman, and she'll get to the free throw line to shoot two. The foul called against the Lady Tigers inside. We'll see what goes against. Two shots coming. Foul on Courtney Hamill, her first. Third team foul on each now. At the stripe, Brent Hobelman. First free throw is crawling in. It hit the front of the rim almost straight on and then crawled right over the top and fell in. It's 9-8 to eight now. Bon and Bless comes out. In will be Emily Ebert. Also, Mac Edmondson returns to the game for play center, and Macy Franson will get her first breather. 9-8, play center by one. 6.25 to go, second quarter. Obelman at the stripe. Second free throw is rimming off. First one rimmed in, this one rimmed out. So one of two at the stripe. Play center still has the one-point lead. 9-8, second quarter with 6-18 to work. Play center leads it by one. Looks at a 2-3 zone defense. Lauren Williams. Now to Edmondson. Left wing is Hamill. High post, Diekman. Looks low. Skips it right corner. Williams fakes three. Dribble drives. Kick off to Diekman. Now cross left to Edmondson. Corner left for Hamill. Short corner. Here's Ebert. Back outside Edmondson. Right baseline, Williams. Good movement for the Lady Tigers. Didn't get a shot out of that one. Now they skip across, almost take it away. Hamill gets it. Deepman to Ebert. Off glass and good. Triple E from the eraser for two. They went short corner left. Ebert busted through the lane, and Deepman hit her on the money. She banked it in off the glass. Lady Tigers' lead is now three. That's their biggest of the contest at 11 8. 537 to work here in this first half of play. Left side with the basketball is Fobelman. Play center in a man-to-man. Give it off to Kinsey Johnson, the leading scorer. Gets inside the lane. It is blocked down low by Ebert, but a foul will be called, and that will give free throw opportunities again to Republic County. And they have uh, gotten to the line twice, three of four, and now we'll get their fifth and sixth chances at the stripe. Play center yet to shoot a free throw here in the first half. The shot from Kenzie Johnson, and she cannot believe she missed a free throw. In disgust, slapped her knee as she bent over in almost pain from the miss. The foul against Ebert was her first. This one rattles in for Johnson, and she has four points. Clay Center's lead is two at 11-9. Left side wing, Ebert gives it out top to Williams. Lauren goes right to Edmondson. Mack looks to the baseline, tried to go to 
Macy Diekman. It was saved back in bounds and off of Macy, but stepping on the sideline was Casey Benishek on a hustle play for Republic County. 11-9 with 5-14 to work second quarter. Play center with the basketball. They have it on the sideline near the corner. Comes out top to Courtney Hamill who dribbles left with it. Now stops and goes back out to the point for Lauren Williams. Ebert and Diekman the post. Edmondson has it left wing. At the point for Williams. Now to Diekman. Left side wing. Edmondson looks low. Back to Diekman at the free throw stripe. She'll kick it right wing. Hamill looks inside for Ebert. It is off of first Emily Ebert, then Stacy Pockton out of bounds. And the Lady Tigers will keep it on the baseline. Leading by two. 4.54 to work second period. Lauren Williams will bring it in play to the corner. And it's almost taken away. And it is going to be taken by Republic County. Her pass to the corner anticipated by Madison Scott. And so it's the Lady Buffaloes back with it. Play center's lead is at 2, 444 left in this first half of play. Here's a drive left side by Madison Scott. Kick out to Johnson. She will give it out top. Actually, Kinsey Johnson right wing three. That's her second triple of the game. Republic County has the lead back now at 12-11. And the little 5-4 sophomore can, can string it. 12-11 now. She's got her second three-point shot in. She has seven points in the game. 12-11. Play center will have possession here. Get pass across to Edmondson. That's off of Republic County, then off of Mac Edmondson, and that goes back to the Buffalo. Skip pass was tipped, and it forced the Lady Tigers into a turnover. Williams will get a breather. Macy Franson back in. Also, Caitlin Bonnebus on the floor. Macy Deacon will come out. 12-11, nearing the midway point of the second period. The Lady Tigers now down by one, and Republic County back with the basketball. Spending her way at the top of the key against Branson is Madison Scott, tough matchup there, and Franson forces her into a very tough shot. It airballed strong, the rebound off to Emily Ebert. Madison Scott at 5-5, good handler and good shooter, but Macy Franson, a great defender, and forced her into that shot. Franson, skip pass right corner to Hamill. Courtney, back at the point, Edmondson, left on the wing is Franson. Macy Ball takes the drive, now gives it in the corner to Bonnebluss, back outside for Franson. Skip pass right is Courtney Hamill inside to Emily Ebert, and that is her second field goal. Good feed from Hamill, and Ebert finishes. It's 13-12. Emily Ebert has four. The Lady Tigers have the lead back. 13-12 ball game. 3.23 to work here in this first half of play. Popped out top, tried to go inside. Bonnebluss takes it away. A race to the other end of the lane. Bonnebluss left side. The lane is strong. Rebound Edmondson there to battle for it. It's going to be a jump ball tied up. And it goes the other way to Republic County. So good hustle by Edmondson. Great steal by Bonnebluss. Just didn't finish it on the lay-in. Started by Pockta on the other end. Common opponents, by the way, did have a chance to say this during pregame. Republic County did lose to Concordia by 10. And then they also beat Minneapolis by 16. That's about the only common opponent you'll find this year for these two teams. 13-12, Edmondson to steal out top, and she ties it up again. In essence, forcing the turnover, the arrow does go to Clay Center, who has a one-point lead and now back with the basketball, 13-12. Emily Ebert brings it in to Macy Franson, who walks it across the timeline, looks at that 2-3 zone. Left on the wing is Hamill, high post, bottom bluff. Caitlin works it right out top to Franson, corner left Hamill. Takes the two-pointer, out of Franson, right wing is Edmondson. Mac attack, stops, kicks it back out top for Franson. There's Alan Sheets, wanted to travel and didn't get it. Now Edmondson again to the lane, to the corner for Hamill. Courtney looks in low. Here's Bonnebluff, top of the key. Franson fakes three, checks the lane. She's bumped, foul called. This will be two free throws for Macy Franson, who hits the deck. Macy Franson, who averages at 11 a game on the year, the 5'9 senior, will step to the line here to shoot two. 13-12, the foul was called against Joni Sheets, the Turpers. 235 to work first half. Quick first two quarters thus far. Franson at the line. And Bear is her first point of the ball game. Play center leaves it by two. Biggest lead for the Lady Tigers has been three points. Biggest lead for Republic County was a 5 nothing start. 235 to work second quarter. Franson, second free throw. She fails them both. Franson with her first points of the game. And Play Center does match their biggest lead thus far. Now wanting to pressure out of the main free throw. And Coach Allen Sheets quickly getting Madison Scott a ball handler back in when he sees the pressure coming at them. Inbounding will be Joni Sheets. Full court pressure off the made free throw from Franson. They get it in below the Lady Tiger bucket. Madison Scott in the backcourt. 
pressured by Mac Edmondson now up the right sideline. Hesitation move further to the corner. Almost slid her pivot foot, able to hang on to it. Now Kenzie Johnson attacks him with the left hand. What a shot by Johnson at 5-4. She's hit two threes and now takes it inside. Finished off balance and off glass. She has nine now. Clay Center's lead is one. High post Ebert. Holes at the right elbow. She'll take the jumper up and down. Emily Ebert's having a night in the first half. She's scored six now. It's 15 four, or 17-14, I should say. Play center by three. Scott works her way up across the timeline. Now she's got Branson on her, and a foul is going to be called as Madison Scott falls to the floor. Not much contact, but the 15 foul called against the Lady Tigers. That'll be the first, I believe, on Branson. It is her first. A minute 54 to work first half. The Public County has it from the sideline. Audrey Sheets will inbound. They put a stack up from the sideline out near half court. They get it into Kinsey Johnson. She has Mac Edmondson on her. Johnson with nine early points. Scored 20 on Tuesday, and she's been around the 20-point mark a bunch this year for Republic County. Right side wing, Madison Scott. Branson on her to the top. Johnson has hit two threes. This one may have been blocked by Courtney Hamill, and the rebound is out of bounds and underneath off of Republic County. I think Hamill got a piece of that. If nothing else, she made Johnson hurry the shot, and she missed it with an air ball short. 17-14, play center, an increase on what has been their biggest lead thus far at three points. 17-14 here. Branson left wing. Looks short corner left to Edmondson. Back out to Branson. Now to Lauren Williams, who's back in at the guard. They have Hamill and Ebert inside. They have a hole down low just called against Republic County. Either Hamill or Eber was cutting across the lane or to the high post and were held on their way there. And so reaching their hold foul against Audrey Sheep. Now five team fouls against each squad. 17-14, Clay Center by three and with the basketball. Out top it comes to Ebers. It'll be passed right baseline to Williams. Now Branson in the lane. Goes to the ground, no foul call. Rebound comes off to Hobelman of Republic County. A minute seven to go, second period. 17-14. Republic County back down with it. Lady Tigers lead it by three. One minute left, first half. Fobelman has it at the point. Works at right elbow. Kick out to Madison Scott. Now she'll call her around to the left baseline and give it off to Kendra Johnson, and she is blocked by Ebert. Emily Ebert comes up big defensively. She also has six points in this first half on the offensive end. Macy Branson at the point. Looks left and gets it left. Now to William. High post is Ebert. Emily back outside to Edmondson. Left wing wide open for three. Lauren Williams. That would have been her second of the game, and it just went strong. Ball's kicked to the backcourt by Johnson and picked up by Franson. Play center has it back, and Coach Jeff Edwards from the sideline yelling last shot, so they will back it out. 20 seconds left and a three-point lead over Republic County. 16 to work. Second quarter here. Lady Tigers lead by three, and they want to go into halftime with the lead. Maybe stretching it a bit. Williams has it. They're going to go box and one with a man-to-man on Franson. Williams left side with five with four. Edmondson with three. Ball fakes it. Now drives it to the lane. Over Park to off glass. No. And the rebound tipped around as the buzzer sounds. We're headed to halftime. in a good one here in the championship semifinal. The Clay Center Lady Tigers 17. Republic County 14. You're listening to Lady Tiger Basketball on 100.9. Thinking about buying a new home? Maybe your first? Or just making improvements? Well, That sounds like just another reason to stop by or contact the Citizens National Bank to get the personal attention you deserve when deciding to invest in a home. We know it can be a stressful and confusing process, so let myself, Bryant Johnson, walk you through the home buying process with ease. Stop by the Citizens National Bank and get pre-approved at your convenience. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Case IH Axial Flow Combine set the industry standard for reliability, grain quality and savings, crop adaptability, and simplicity. Bruna Implement Company offers you a comprehensive line of six available models from 265 to 483 base horsepower. From the proven workhorse 40 series to the technology leading 30 series with standard self-leveling cleaning systems and Power Plus CVT drives. Bruna Implement Company has a Case IH Axial Flow Combine that's right for you. Metal roofing isn't what it used to be. DecraShake shingles offer the classic beauty and architectural detail of thick, rustic, hand-split wood shake shingles, but they're actually steel. 
giving you superior performance and longevity. Decra Shake shingles are interlocking metal panels providing a tough, weather-tight barrier. They're recommended and installed by Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement. They've built a reputation on quality work, customer satisfaction, and integrity. Visit GeislerRoofing.com. How will your wheat crop make it through this winter? It's up to you to give it the best fighting chance and a jump on the spring growing season with a fall fertilizing application. Wilbur Ellis and Reed Seed Sales is ready with stabilized N in two forms, field and site specific variable rate technology and custom application. With the experience of field specialists Brent, Allen, Darren, Kent or Mike Green, they clearly understand the problems customers face. You can count on Wilbur Ellis and Reed Seed Sales. At the half, and a good one here as Republic County jumped out to a 5 nothing lead in this ball game, And uh, now the Lady Tigers have uh, jumped that lead of their own out to three points. They're matching their biggest lead of the contest. It's 17-14 here at the half. Uh, Lady Tigers again in the championship semifinals. The winner of this game will move on to tomorrow night at 6 p.m. That'll be against the uh, winner of the Heston-Riley County Falcon Girls matchup which will uh, be played a little bit later on this evening at around 6.30. Also coming up today, about an hour from right now, they'll start basketball play back again in Onega. It's the girls' championship semifinals tonight. At 4.30, there is a consolation game with Clifton Clyde and Blue Valley, and Phil Casper will once again be on hand to give you a uh, look in uh, for that ball game. We'll send it there live, and and he'll give you the play-by-play on that contest. And then also with Washington County Axel, the championship semifinals, I'll also get you going with the Lynn Bulldog girls against Centralia, and then we'll also bring you back here for an 8-15 tip-off tonight for the Clay Center Tiger boys who will face the Riley County Falcons in the last game of the evening. That'll be over at uh, the gym at Tabor College. Here at 17-14, again, Republic County jumped out to a 5 nothing start, and then Clay Center would outscore them 7-2 to the rest of the opening period. It was tied at 7. Second quarter, traded leads a couple of times. Clay Center had the lead of three points. That's the biggest advantage they've had in this game. They reached that a couple of different times, including here at the halftime break. It's 17-14. Stay with us. More from halftime, and Hillsboro is on the way. Do you ever get tired of waiting for your monthly bank statements to show up in your mailbox? Sign up for our new e-statements at Union State Bank and receive your monthly statement as soon as it's ready. With our new e-statements, you gain a more secure way of checking your monthly transactions and the added convenience of being able to check your statements anywhere that you have internet access. Plus, you'll be helping us to go green by processing less paper each month. Call or come in to our convenient locations to get signed up for e-statements today. Union State Bank, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. The wait is just about over. Arriving soon at Hanson Ford will be the 2015 Ford F-150, the toughest, smartest, most capable, and most efficient F-150 ever built. It's a better truck for Ford customers featuring an all-new, high-strength steel frame, and the F-150 is the first in its class to have a military-grade aluminum alloy body and bed. Oh, the places you'll go and the things you'll be able to do with the 2015 Ford F-150 trucks. Coming soon to Hanson Ford and Clay Center, and well worth the wait. Central Valley Ag can help you maximize your farming return. Ag Information Manager Trevor Smith recommends variable rate seeding. It's going to save you time. It's going to save you money. Your custom prescription begins with a soil test. Then... We work with our seed department to come up with a planting prescription that everybody can agree on. Talk to your CVA field sales agronomist now about variable rate seeding. Central Valley Ag, where the customer comes first. There's nothing quite as exciting as welcoming a new baby. To demonstrate, Roscoe here will wear this giant stork costume. Oh, brother. At Central Office, we're having a great sale on wonderful gift items for babies, like stuffed animals, cute onesies, baby books, photo albums, baby crosses, and picture frames. Hey, watch it with that beak there, Roscoe. For all your baby gifts, come see us at Central Office Service and Supply in Clay Center. First half scoring in the 17-14 Clayson and Lady Tiger lead of three points. It is uh, nine points from Kinsey Johnson leading the way to 5 four sophomore for Republic County. They have three points from Brent Hobelman and then Ashley Proctor with two points, both at the free throw stripe. Clayson was two of two at the line in the first half. Republic County was five of six at the stripe. The Lady Tigers are led by Emily Ebert's six points. The 5'8 senior really stepping up big on the offensive end when they needed some punch as Republic County really trying to clog up the middle 
and then paying a lot of attention to Macy Franson, which has become uh, the norm. Macy Deekman got an early bucket down inside, which established some presence there. Courtney Hamill, a couple of buckets in low. Emily Ebert, the six points I mentioned. Lauren Williams had an early three for Clay Center. Macy Franson has been held to two free throws thus far through this first half of play. At 17-14, we mentioned uh, the TVL coming up at 4.30 and then through the evening and then back here for the boys' 8-15 tip-off Clay Center in Riley County. I want to mention also, if you want to listen back to any of the uh, coverage of this week, be it from the Hillsboro Trojan Classic here in Hillsboro or from Onega, the Twin Valley League Tournament, all of that coverage is available on our KCOY YouTube page. If you just go to YouTube, type in KCOY, you'll find our page, and it's there for you to share with anybody, to uh, to play and listen to, to make copies of. Uh, it is all yours to uh, to enjoy uh, from games that have been played uh, this past week and throughout the season as well. Uh, they are put up there, but uh, it's been up to date uh, through this week. Yesterday's are already available on that KCOY YouTube page, so be sure and check that out. Uh, KCOY YouTube, and uh, you can check out any of the games from the Trojan Classic here in Hillsborough or the TVL in Omega. More coming your way. The second half is about here. 17-14, Clay Center leads it by three. At Patterson's Health Mart Pharmacy, the pharmacists are committed to making sure you understand the instructions that allow your prescriptions to be taken safely and effectively. They'll take the time to counsel you and set your mind at ease concerning your medications. Patterson's has health care aids such as walkers, canes, and lift chairs to help you with your daily mobility needs. Putting the care into health care is Patterson's Health Mart Pharmacy with locations in Clay Center, Abilene, and Salina. Let's face it, you need to keep working even when the temperatures keep dropping. That's why you should switch to Cenex Winterized Premium Diesel Fuels. They contain an advanced performance additive package that gives you serious weather protection while optimizing power and fuel economy. Choose from extreme to moderate climate coverage, all designed to keep your equipment and vehicles running their best during cold weather. Get serious winter protection. Ask for Cenex Winterized Premium Diesel Fuels at Farmway Co-op. Cenex is a brand of CHS. Save time and gas and easily deposit checks from the comfort of your home. United Bank and Trust is pleased to offer our newest mobile banking feature, Mobile Deposit. There's no need to make that extra trip to the bank to deposit a check. Simply endorse, click, and submit your check image for deposit. Speak with your local branch representative on qualification details on how to apply Mobile Deposit. United Bank and Trust. You bank, we deliver. Member FDIC. Mobile remote deposits functional on iPhone and Android apps only. Data rates may apply. Check with your mobile phone carrier for details. The Northeast Kansas First Trials are in, and the Old EC 2414 Corn Hybrid takes first place with an impressive 208.6 bushel performance, outperforming 35 other hybrids in four locations. And if you're concerned about managing risk this season, ask about our new drought guard hybrids that are delivering record yields. Contact Old EC today at 877-692-4555. That's 877-692-4555. Lady Tigers will open up on defense as Republic County will have the basketball to start. 17-14, Lady Tigers with the lead again, led by Emily Ebert. 6-4 from Courtney Hamill, a three ball from Lauren Williams. Two each from Macy Franson and Macy Diegman. And then Republic County has the nine points from Kinsey Johnson. Two from Ashley Pockta, three from Bryn Hobelman. Republic County will have the basketball. Lady Tigers will start man-to-man. They're going to check out uh, near the half-court stripe to man up. It is going to be Madison Scott who brings it across against Lauren Williams. Beekman, along with Edmondson, Cranston, and Ebert out there for Clay Center. Out top of the basketball is going to be Joni Sheets. They get it down inside. Good look, but missed and rebound off to Macy Diegman. And she's uh, racking up the boards in this one. Williams walks it across the midcourt, trying to get a 2-3 zone defense. Williams gives it to Macy Diegman. Left wing near the top, and now Franson for three, right wing and good, and Clay Center has their biggest lead of the game. The Cobra strikes early, and it's a six-point lead, 20-14. to Franson's first field goal, she has five points now. The biggest lead either team has had, and now we've got a reach-in on Franson on the defensive end. That'll be her second foul. A little touch foul call there on the wing left as the drive started in for Madison Scott. Joni Sheets will take it out of bounds. 7.15 to work. We're just underway in this third quarter. Play center's lead is now 20-14. to 14. Lock down low. Deakman, great front on the defensive side. Tipped it in, and Sheets Branson comes up with it. 
Lauren Williams walks it down the floor. Now holds outside, and they may be content to play catch for a while if Republic County is going to sit back in that zone. Let's see. Now they're going to run some offense. It can be pretty deliberate right now with a six-point lead, and they would love to have Republic County have to come match up with the man-to-man. Right now, just working some offense out on the perimeter. Mac Edmondson near the timeline with the dribble. Well, they'll give it off to Ebert, keeping everybody involved right now, but they bring it left wing to Franson. Corner left is Williams, looking in low. Wasn't there. Now they back it out. Ray Center's lead is 20-14. to 14. Franson at the top of the key to Diegman. Macy will give it off to Mac Edmondson. Now she'll back it out with a dribble. Republic County very content to stay in the 2-3 zone right now. Here's Diegman with it, left wing. Out top to Williams. 6-14 to work, and now Lauren Williams keeps the dribble, hands it off to Eberts. Now left to Edmondson in the corner for Franson. Couldn't get a three away. Now Williams does get a look for a three at the point. It's off the mark. Rebound, though, to Mac Edmondson, and it's a new possession. Under six minutes now left to work third quarter. Lauren Williams says, come on out. Let's bring the spread the floor a little bit again. Ebert at the top of the key beyond the arc just holds there. Led the Lady Tigers with six first half points. Now Williams has it. Again, between the rings. They'll continue to run their offense, but uh, unless there's something wide open, they are not going to look for shots with a six-point lead now. In Republic County, staying back in that 2-3. How long will they stay back there before they come out and match up or try to extend the zone anyway? Here's Williams in the corner. Looks slow, wasn't there. Now back to Franson. As Clay Center shortens this game quite a bit now in this third quarter after getting a six-point lead on the Franson three. Now Edmondson. Left it comes to Macy Franson. High post to Ebert. Emily Ball fakes. Left corner. Now Franson's got to look for three. It's strong. Weak side board. It's going to be taken away. Then a foul called on Edmondson. Back Edmondson battling for the loose ball of the rebound. They say she went over the top. So the first team foul to the second half called against the Lady Tigers. Actually, a second team foul. First on Edmondson in the half, or second of the game. 20 to 14, Republic County gets it back. 4.55 to work. We're in the third. As it's brought across by Madison Scott of Republic County. Left on the wing, Joni Sheets. Play center in a man to man. Ebert pressuring hard out on the perimeter. Now right on the wing, they lob it down low to Pocta. Muscles are away in the paint. Strong. Rebound, weak side. Guess who? Macy Deepman again. 4.38 to work. Play center has a six point lead and the basketball as Lauren Williams walks it across the timeline. Lauren holds the dribble. Now out top to Ebert. Left on the wing is Franson. Play center got two open looks out of this last time down after an offensive board. They had a three-point attempt. And they had uh, two three-point attempts, one from Lauren Williams, one from Macy. Franson didn't go, but they were good looks. Edmondson out of Deakman. Midway point here in the third quarter. Play center with a 20-14 to 14 lead. Franson backs it out, and now a timeout's going to be taken by Coach Jeff Edwards, 20-14, to 14, 402 to work third quarter. Lady Tigers lead by six here in the third. The Twin Valley Color Race is back. Join us on March 21st for Clay Center's second annual color race, a fun and crazy 5K where participants are covered head to toe in color at each kilometer. Walk or run, it's all for fun. All proceeds benefit CARE, the animal shelter being built in Clay Center. In the spirit of CARE, your dog can participate too. To register, volunteer to help, and more, visit twinvalley.net slash color. We hope to see you and your friends on March 21st at the color race. Your chance to stock up on featured grocery items are in the wow bins at Ray's Apple Market, and they're spread out throughout the store to catch your attention wherever you are. From dry soup mixes and sports drinks to snack items and canned goods, you'll find great savings in the wow bins. Stock the pantry with the variety of grocery items you'll want to have on hand. Ray's Apple Market continues to help you stretch your budget and save you money. Ray's Apple Market, your town, your store. Lady Tigers will inbound as they come back out of the timeout taken by the sideline. 20-14, to 14, the lead for Clay Center, and they have the basketball. Macy Franson out top. The public county in that zone defense. Now Diekman has it. Right on the wing it goes to William. 350 to work. Now right side it goes across to Mac Edmondson to the baseline. Ebert calling forward inside. Instead back out top it comes to Williams. 340 now left here in this third. 
as the clock continues to tick away on this third period. Now outside it comes to Williams, across right to Edmondson. Mack to Williams at the point, to the free throw line, Deepman. Back to the baseline right, Edmondson looks at a two-pointer, does not take it again. Now around left to Branson. Back outside, Williams. High post, Ebert. Here, strip away from behind, and we have a jump ball call. As Ebert has it tied up, it will be Clay Center's basketball as they will inbound from the baseline right of the glass. Ebert had Kenzie Johnson come from behind and get a hold of the basketball and tie it up. Now Williams will lob it out deep for Macy Franson. Back in the corner left is Williams to the post for Beekman. Outside top to Franson. 3-10 left. Left wing is Williams. High post to Ebert. In the corner right it goes to Edmondson. She'll attack the paint. Now lobs it back out right side line to Williams. Top of the key for Franson. Three-point attempt on its way. Strong. The rebound comes off to Kenzie Johnson. 2.55 to work. Clay Center leading by six. Back on defense in a man-to-man. Madison Scott brings it across. Spins it right. Clay Center in man right now. Left it comes to Joni Sheets. And here's Branson with the run out to the other end. They see Branson on the move. She'll be fouled. They'll say before the shot. And she took it from coast to coast, but was fouled before she was able to get a shot away. 20 to 14, it will be Clay Center with the basketball, and they will inbound from underneath their own basket. It'll be Lauren Williams to put it in play. They lob it to Deekman. Macy puts the dribble down out left to Edmondson now. Across the top, it comes to Franson. Two and a half to work. Clay Center has a six point lead here. Edmondson at the top. Fakes left, goes right. Williams fakes the three. High post to Ebert. Looks down low. Now back outside to Williams. 221 left to go, third quarter. Ebert lobs it low. Great catch by Diegman. And the finish inside. And they call this on the floor. They see Diegman the catch and the finish in one motion. And they call this on the floor. What a great shot, though, by Macy Diegman. And maybe even a better catch before taking it up strong. Unfortunate for Diegman. I thought that was going to be a continuation and a chance at a three-point play. Instead, it'll be Clay Center's basketball out of bounds. 2.18 to go, third quarter. 20-14, 20-14, to 14, Lauren Williams will inbound it as Caitlin Bonnablus checks in. They go to Bonnablus in the block. She'll kick it back outside to Edmondson as Republic County covered it up pretty quickly. Hamill also checking in. They have Williams, Edmondson, Franson, Bonnablus, and Hamill with 207 now left. And Clay Center leading 20-14. to 14. So they scored the one free ball. They've taken four or five shots, but they've milked a lot of clock down. And Republic County continues to be content to sit back in their zone. A minute 50 to work. Right side wing is Franson. Ball fakes, brings it out top. Now left it comes across to Edmondson. Mack brings it back out deep for Williams. Lauren will back it off near the timeline. Down to a minute 40 left to go in this third quarter. Bottom bless. Right wing to Williams. Back outside deep is Mack Edmondson. 90 seconds left. Here's Bottom bless. Dribbles left, gets it off to Franson. Fakes the three in the corner. It comes to Williams. Lauren back outside for France in a minute 21 now there. Macy, I post to Courtney Hamill near the timeline, near the uh, top of the key, and I gives it off to Edmonton. Back across left for Franson. Now around right they go to Williams, a minute nine. High post is Hamill. To Edmonton at the point, right wing Williams to Hamill. Look down low, great look for bottom plus and the bucket's good. Play center's lead goes to eight. They break the defense down with great patience again. They've got this quarter down to the third to a minute left to third, and they lead by eight, and Republic County yet to score in this third quarter. Here's a drive down low, ball taken away, Williams bats it away, and it's right to Bonnenblast, and now Clay Center, who leads it by eight, will bring it down with Lauren Williams with the dribble, 35 seconds left. And Coach Jeff Edwards says, we'll take one shot here. With an eight-point lead, they could stretch it to double digits before the quarter break. And a shutout of Republic County in this quarter if they get that done. And they will force in the fourth quarter Republic County to come match up. 15 seconds left here. Lauren Williams hangs on to the basketball. 22-14, to 14, the lead for the Lady Tigers. Hamill, top of the key. Turn, squares it off right side. Tips, run down by Edmonton. Now back left to Williams. Four seconds with three. Lauren toward the lane as it tipped away. Edmonton with a shot up for three, but it's blocked. We'll head to the fourth quarter. Lady Tigers up by eight, 22 to 14. Eight minutes left to play in the championship semis when we come back. 
A familiar face and a friendly smile. The Citizens National Bank. You use your smartphone to connect with friends, play games, and more. Why not bank on it? The Citizens National Bank mobile banking is fast, easy, and a secure way to stay on top of your finances wherever you are. Check your balances, find ATMs, pay bills, transfer funds, and make deposits. It's easy and available at no charge from the Citizens National Bank. Member FDIC. Mobile deposits are subject to approval. Message and data rates may apply. Grasshopper takes the work out of mowing. Trim under and around obstacles quickly and make effortless turns with a Grasshopper front mount mower. Make mowing and maintenance even easier with the Powerfold deck. Change cutting height as you mow. And when you're finished, fold up the deck for space-saving transport and easy maintenance. Grasshopper's quick converter system makes it easy to attach all sorts of implements too, including brooms, dozer blades, even snow throwers. Visit grasshoppermower.com to learn more or stop by Bruna Implement to see for yourself. 22-14 ball game. The Clayson Olympic Tigers have the eight-point lead and a shutout of Republic County in the third period as they go ball control, getting the three-pointer from Macy Franson, put him up by six. They gave the ball up only twice from that point on. That was with about five minutes, five and a half minutes left, maybe even more than that, and then they were able to get it back, get another bucket inside, and then eventually with an eight-point lead, they held on to it for a final shot. Republic County will have it to begin this final period. Scoreless to the second half thus far. MZ Johnson out top, bottom blessed on her. Lady Tigers start with Courtney Hamill, Mac Edmondson, Lauren Williams, Macy Franson, and Caitlin Bonnenbluss. In the corner right is Finishek. Chill hole back outside right wing. Kenzie Johnson drives. The foul is going to be called before she gets into the lane, and that will be the third team foul against Clay Center. That is the first on Lauren Williams. So basketball goes to Republic County on the baseline. Joni Sheets, free throw line. Benishek for two. No. Rebound inside. Foxa has it for Republic County. Lobs it back out deep. That's going to go to the backcourt, and that'll be Clay Center's basketball on the turnover. So the Lady Tigers will get it back, leading by eight. Lauren Williams will inbounds from the sideline for the Lady Tigers, who lead it by eight points with possession. And again, Republic County staying back in that 2-3 zone, and Clay Center may just uh, take the air out of this basketball they would love to get the matchup where they get to go man-to-man in their offense against this Republic County team. They feel they match up really well with this squad if they can do that. So, Franson out top to Williams. Right side wing is Edmondson. Now a minute into the fourth quarter. Clay center with that eight-point edge. Courtney Hamill, short corner left. Back out deep for Williams. Right side wing is Edmondson. Back Back to Lauren, around left for Franson. Looks at the three, does not take. Cross right for Edmondson. Back out top, here's Williams. 6.33 now left in this ball game. Franson, short corner left is bottom bluff. Skip pass across to Edmondson. Mack looks slow, now to Williams. Back to Mack on the right wing. Williams around left for Franson. Courtney Hamill at the high post looks down low. Bonnenblush, great catch inside, and another high post, low post finish. Bonnenblush has two field goals in the second half. Both have been off the identical feeds. Now Clay Center's lead is 10 with 6.05, all that remains in the game. Fourth quarter action. Republic County still yet to score in the second half. Here's a drive from Johnson. Got it to the rim, and then she reaches in and fouls on Macy Franson in the backcourt. A little frustrated after getting a drive but unable to get it above the rim that hit the bottom of the rim when she took it up. Clay Center gets it back, leading 24-14. Lady Tigers lead it 24-14 here in the fourth quarter. Macy Franson backs it out. Now it goes left to Lauren Williams. Bottom blust and Hamill run the post high and low. Franson has it wing right to the post for Bonnenblush. Back outside to Franson. Macy now to Mac Edmondson. Around left is Williams. Lauren puts the dribble down toward the baseline. Lobbed down low. She was looking for Courtney Hamill, who was defended, overthrown, and taken away. So the Lady Tigers do turn it over. Their lead is 10. 5-10 left to work in this ball game. Right side wing, Kenzie Johnson. She had nine first half points. Scoreless, obviously, in the second half because nobody from Republic County has been able to score. 
in the second half of play yet. Now it's Madison Scott. It will be a bump on Williams, her second. That'll be the fourth team foul against Clay Center. Neither team really in danger of getting to the bonus at this point. Now Sydney Calloway into the game for the first time. Williams out. Also Ebert and Deakman back in as Bonham, Blust, and Hamill come off. Clay Center Lady Tigers trying to get to the Trojan Classic Championship, and right now they lead. Shot in the lane is no good, but a opportunity for a free throw strike for Republic County. They missed the play toward the paint from the baseline inbounds, and to the free throw line will be Brent Hobelman trying to give Republic County their first point of the entire second half so far. Free throw up and good. So for the first time in the second half, the Buffaloes are on the board, and now Coach Allen Sheets wants a timeout. 25-15, the Lady Tigers by nine with 4.56 remaining here in this ball game. when we return with Lady Tiger basketball on KCLY. At Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement, they understand that one of your most valuable assets is your home. They also understand that when it comes to the care and maintenance of your home, you want a trusted, reliable, and proven contractor on your side. Customers have said Geyser Roofing and Home Improvement truly cares about their customers, and they are very knowledgeable about their products. They have the expertise and the experience to get the job done and done right with integrity. Call 800-783-3360. How will your wheat crop make it through this winter? It's up to you to give it the best fighting chance and a jump on the spring growing season with a fall fertilizing application. Wilbur Ellis and Reed Seed Sales is ready with stabilized N in two forms, field and site specific variable rate technology and custom application. With the experience of field specialists Brent, Allen, Darren, Kent or Mike Green, they clearly understand the problems customers face. You can count on Wilbur Ellis and Reed Seed Sales. Brynn Hobelman at the free throw line. She makes two of two of the stripes. She now has four points. Here comes full court pressure now by Republic County. The Clay Center leading now by eight. They get it into Diegman, back to Ebert. Emily will bring it up herself near the timeline. Now across with the dribble, stops and gets it to Edmonton. We'll see if Republic County matches up, and they will go man-to-man. So this is what Clay Center wanted. See if they can take advantage of some of the matchups on the floor. Macy Franson against Madison Scott, right wing to Callaway. Chid will get it back out deep for Edmondson. Nearing the midway point, fourth quarter, Clay Center a 24-16 lead. Lob down low, Diekman inside the paint, up and good. Ebert the feed, Diekman the finish. Clay Center's back up by 10 at 26-16. 4-20 now left. Madison Scott to the baseline right. Kenzie Johnson will look for 3-0. And Diekman another rebound defensively. This will be the fourth team foul as she is bumped on the way down with possession. Now the lead is at 10, 26-16. Play center has held Republic County through almost a quarter and a half scoreless right now. A lot of that with the offense hanging onto the basketball, but they've also not allowed much offensively when they have had possession. 26-16, back Edmondson in the backcourt, works it up against Kenzie Johnson, long down court pass to Callaway, now back to Edmondson in the front court. Midway point, fourth period. Deakman has it outside. Scored last trip down on a good feed from Emily Ebert. Here's Callaway. Works it left. Crosses over toward the lane. Lobs it low for Ebert. Emily Ebert up. No good. Rebound tip taken away by Madison Scott. Back to the way for Republic County. The drive in low. Scott kick out to the baseline. Kenzie Johnson attacks the lane and a blocking foul before the pass went to the baseline. And they'll call this against play center. 26-16, 3.40 left to go here in the ball game. The basketball goes out of bounds to Republic County. It is a 16 foul on Clay Center. So the Buffaloes will be in the bonus from here on out. Just 3.40 now left in this game. 26-16, lob out top, Madison Scott. Right side wing is Johnson. Now to Scott, back to Kenzie Johnson. She'll attack with a dribble, gets it low, bounce pass off to Pocta in the lane. Wild shot, no good. Rebound comes off, though, to Republic County. The stick back. Goes up and in for Audrey Sheets. Her first point of the game. It's 3.20 remaining. Clay Center has a 26-18 lead. Edmondson up the floor and right on the wing it goes to Franson. Now to Edmondson. Mack goes at the top of the key to 
Macy Deekman to Macy Franson, who had a great drive, and then going for the rebound, is called for a third foul. Slipped down low. The slipped the screen, I should say, down low, and Deekman better right on the money. Macy Franson had a pretty good look in traffic with the left hand, albeit, and it went strong, and it went for the offensive rebound. It was called for a third foul. With 3.09 now left. And this will be... They say a loose ball foul. It's not a team possession foul. No one has possession. That's the only way I can read that. Even though they were on offense, she was going for all this. It was not during the offensive play, so on a loose ball rebound, the foul then gives the one-and-one to the other team. If that would have been during the uh, play in which they were running offense, that would have been a team control, and it would have just been Republic County basketball. Instead, they'll have a one-and-one. First free throw, and they put back at the line Bryn Hobelman, who now has hit four of five at the line in the game, three of three in this fourth quarter. That's the only points Republic County has scored in the second half. These three from the strike. Hobelman, one more free throw coming. This one up and also down. So she now has seven points in the game, five of those direction, uh, got five of those from the strike. She's five of six from the line. 26-20, so the 10-point lead for Clay Center is down to six points. Caitlin Bonnablus, Courtney Hamill both checking in. Deepman, Williams, Franson in the game. 26-20, 3.09 left to work. Deepman to Franson. Macy Franson clears them out, and she'll bring it up herself against Madison Scott. Races up the right sideline. Franson now stops out at the point. Under three minutes to go, Clay Center has a lead of six. Bonnablus off to Williams. She backs it out between the circles. Defense coming. They go high post to Bonham Blush. She'll turn, square it up, poked away for a moment, gets it back, and hands it off to Courtney Hamill. Madison Scott out on her. Hamill, the high post for Deegan. She looks low. Now holds and gives it off to Williams. Lauren starts to attack. Five count is on. Johnson on her. Now a timeout to Coach Jeff Edwards. 2.32 left in the ball game. It's Clay Center leading by two possessions. 26-20 when we come back. This is Keith Blake with Union State Bank. I feel fortunate to work in downtown Clay Center and to be able to see the historic and picturesque Courthouse Square every day. Union State Bank has been a cornerstone of the community since our founding in 1901. We have endured many economic cycles during this time, which has helped us grow stronger and more secure. We stand ready to help farmers, businesses, and consumers thrive and grow. We're committed to working with you with whatever your financial needs may be. Union State Bank, member FDIC. More and more people are making the switch to Ford, and here's why. The EcoBoost fuel economy, advanced technology, and amazing features like the foot-activated liftgate. Hanson Ford invites you to the Switch sales event going on now. On the lot, you'll find a Ford that fits your lifestyle. Choose from a 2014 Ford Edge and F-150 or the 2015 Ford Fusion, Ford Explorer, and Super Duty. Hurry in and make the switch to a new Ford at Hanson Ford in Clay Center. 232 remains here in the game. Two minutes, 32 seconds away from making the championship in their first year in the Trojan Classic for Clay Center, and they have the basketball from the sideline. Lauren Williams inbounds to Caitlin Bonnablus. Bonnablus looks left. Here's Hamill. Courtney Hamill, ball nearly taken away. It is batted, but she gets it back, kicks it across, and it's going to be a bump now on Kenzie Johnson. As the Lady Tigers able to hang on to the basketball, that'll be the sixth team foul. One more for Republic County, and uh, that'll put Clay Center at the stripe. So Lauren Williams will inbound from the sideline. Out top for Bonnablus, pressured. Puts the dribble down to the corner for Hamill. Out top it comes to Williams. 219 now to work. Clay Center leads it by six. Bonnablus open at the top of the key. Pressure comes. She'll hold. Now kicks it out to Hamill. Courtney Hamill, pressure, crossover, loses the defender. Right wing, it comes to Deegan. Macy back outside for Hamill, now to Lauren Williams. Two minutes left to go. Williams pressured, a blocking foul on Johnson. That'll be her third. And play center now will have a chance at the line for a one-and-one. Two minutes left in the game. 26-20 ball game. And the Lady Tigers, is that number seven? It's just the 16th foul. I think got the last one up there quickly, so I'll correct myself. There is still one more foul before Clay Center will head to the 
free throw line for the bonus. Outside right wing, Hamill with the dribble. Stops, needs some help. Bounce pass off to Williams near the corner. And she loses it out of bounds. This will be Republic County basketball. 26-20, the lead for Clay Center. Williams on the wing right pressured, and it finally was tipped away off of Williams and out of bounds. Minute 49 left. Clay Center's lead is six. Republic County will have the basketball as it's brought down court by Madison Scott. She's checked by Lauren Williams. Scott lobs it low for Johnson. Down inside, shot up, a wild one off the backboard, out of bounds to Clay Center. Coach Allen Sheep thought it was blocked, trying to get the outside official to talk about it. They went off the side of the backboard, and he's not going to get the reverse as Johnson just threw it up against three taller defenders inside. Macy Franson, they're going to come foul now with a minute 35 to work. Franson with the dribble. Now she brings it up. They don't foul her. 26-20 with 90 seconds to go in this game. Clay Center with the lead in the basketball and a foul on Johnson. Her fourth is going to put Macy Franson at the free throw line. This will be a one and one chance. Franson two of two at the stripe. And get this, the only free throws in the game for Clay Center are the two that Macy Franson shot in the first half and the one that's coming right here. 26-20 ball game. Branson front end of the one and one is good. That makes it a three possession game now with a minute twenty six to go. One more free throw coming. Branson now with six points. One more free throw on the way. The Cobra drains it again. She now has seven. That leaves the Lady Tigers in scoring. Mac Edmondson in. Lauren Williams out. It's an eight point lead now with a minute twenty six to go. Clayson are on top twenty eight twenty. They have held Republic County to six points in the second half, and all correction, all but two have been from the free throw strike. Madison Scott toward the lane. That's batted by Bonnebus off the leg of Scott, and they're going to say it went off of play center. So Bonnebus must have hit it off her own foot as she batted it to the ground. It will stay with Republic County on the baseline. Joni Sheets looks inside, now lobs it out top for Madison Scott. Edmondson guarding there. Kenzie Johnson, right baseline, guarded by Bonnerbluff. Spins and she walked. Now she's going to be fouled. Kenzie Johnson, nowhere to go. And as she was spinning, took an extra step. They say that she was hipped in that direction. So it'll be a one and one chance coming for Kenzie Johnson. A minute 11 to go. And Kenzie Johnson will have a one-and-one chance. She misses on the first of the two, but she gets her own rebound, misses, and Bonnenbluss clears it. Bonnenbluss up the right sideline. Clay Center with a minute three to work, and we have a timeout taken by the Tigers' sideline. 28-20, a minute three to go. The Clay Center Lady Tigers have the lead by eight and the basketball. A minute three left here in the championship semifinal. Central Valley Ag wants to help you get the most out of your irrigation investment with Aqua Systems Water Management. Ag Information Manager Trevor Smith tells us it starts with a moisture probe buried in your field. It's a 48-inch PVC pipe that has sensors every four inches that read the soil moisture. No more over- or underwatering. Talk to your CVA field sales agronomist for details. Central Valley Ag, where the customer comes first. A return to Hillsboro. The Clayson and Lady Tigers right now have the lead by eight. They have the basketball, and a minute three is all that's left on this fourth quarter clock. They'll inbound from the sideline. It'll be Williams into Franson in the front court. Republic County has to come foul. Franson hit her last two free throws. Johnson has four fouls, doesn't want to commit the fourth. Now Franson has picked up her dribble, and there's the reach in on Audrey Sheets. And this will give Macy Franson a trip back to the free throw line. Still a one and one at this point. 28-20, the lead for the Lady Tigers. Macy Franson, four for four at the line thus far. One and one chance here. First free throw. The Cobra has hit five straight. She has eight now. And Clay Center's got a nine-point edge. And 55.6 seconds left in this game. Macy Franson, another chance. Second free throw. Perfect as well. Franson now with nine. 
And the Lady Tigers back to a 10-point lead with under a minute to go in this game. Sid Callaway in. Branson will come out. Ebert, Bonnenblast, Diekman, Edmondson on the floor. 54 to work. Madison Scott brings it up the court. Works it left. Kicks. No, she doesn't kick it out. Now she does to Audrey Sheets. She'll attack the lane. No good. Pocked up. Back up and in. Stacey Potka, or correction, that is uh, Ashley Potka with the bucket. Makes it an eight-point game, and Republic County now takes a quick timeout. I want to get you caught up on what's still to come this afternoon. In about 20 minutes, they'll tip things off in Onega with the Twin Valley League Tournament. Bill Casper will be on hand to give you that coverage. That's a consolation game at 430, Clifton Clyde against Blue Valley. He is there, set and ready to go when this goes final, and we wrap up with post game, Then you have uh, Washington County Axel at six girls championships in the final. And then the Lynn Bulldog girls will take on Centralia at 7.30, the scheduled tip-off time. And then we're back here with an 8.15 tip for the Clay Center Tiger boys. They're matched up against Wiley County in that the game tonight in the Constellation semifinal. Here, the Lady Tigers lead by eight. 42 seconds left. Pass comes into Franson. She'll be fouled by Johnson. That'll be her fifth. She has to come out, but they had to stop the clock, and Macy Franson's marching back down the line for another one-and-one. So, Kenzie Johnson, who was held to nine points, that's a big deal because she had nine first half points, and Clay Center just didn't let her get going or let her have opportunities. She finishes with nine points in the game and will come to the sideline. Macy Franson at the stripe has nine points and a one-and-one coming. First free throw, this one's strong. Rebound, and Emily Ebert fouls over the back, stops the clock, and will give opportunities on the other end for Republic County at the stripe. Not a foul you want to commit right there with an eight-point lead. So it'll head in the other direction. And Ashley Pox will be at the stripe. She hit the field goal the last time down. She has four points in the game. 30-22. to 22. It'll be a one-and-one as well. And she makes the front end, and she'll get one more coming. This is really the biggest one of the two, now that she's made that one, because you can get it down to a two-possession game, possibly, if you make this one. Free throw up, and it rims off. Rebound to Macy Diekman again. Diekman's going to be fouled, and Clay Center will go to the other end. This will be a two-shot foul, with Clay Center still up by seven, and now 38 seconds remain. Diekman, who has four points in the contest, Four each from Bonnebless, Hamill, and Diekman. Six from Ebert all in the first half. A three from Lauren Williams in the first half. And nine points from Macy Francis. Diekman's free throw is good. Calls in there. She has five. Play center's lead is now eight, 31-23. Mac Edmondson back in for the Lady Tigers. Hamill, Franson, Ebert out there, and Diekman at the free throw line. First one was good. Second free throw crawls off. So she's one of two at the stride. But it's an eight-point lead with 34 to work. Man-to-man for Clay Center. Madison Scott works it right. Hands it outside now to Audrey Sheets. Under 30 seconds left. Clay Center's lead is eight. Audrey Sheets drives the lane. Takes it up in a crowd. No good. Rebound. Ebert clears it. She'll get it away to Mac Edmondson. And now a reach-in foul called against Republic County with 19.2 left. That's all that remains between Clay Center celebrating their eighth win of the season and a trip to the Hillsboro Trojan Classic Championship game tomorrow night. Emily Ebert will be at the line, and this will be a two-shot foul. Ebert with six points. Let the Lady Tigers in scoring in the first half. First free throw here is going to be strong. 31-23. Clay Center an eight-point lead under 20 seconds left in this contest. Second free throw from Ebert. This one crawls home. She has seven in the game. Hamill will come out. Bon and Bless back in. Placer now leads by nine with 19.2 to go. Across the timeline, Madison Scott. Baseline right. Three-point attempt. Audrey Sheets is strong. Rebound tipped around. Pulled down by Kendra Scott. She'll take it in. Shot no good. Ebert clears it. Stripped away with five. They'll take a shot from Sheets with two, with one. Scott the rebound, and that is the ball game. 
and the Lady Tigers are headed to the championship tomorrow night here in the Hillsboro Trojan Classic. It's a 32-23 final. The Lady Tigers get the win, knocking off the number two seed. Post games coming up. Stay with us. We'll be back in Hillsboro in a moment. At Patterson's Health Mart Pharmacy, the pharmacists are committed to making sure you understand the instructions that allow your prescriptions to be taken safely and effectively. They'll take the time to counsel you and set your mind at ease concerning your medications. Patterson's has health care aids such as walkers, canes, and lift chairs to help you with your daily mobility needs. Putting the care into health care is Patterson's Health Mart Pharmacy with locations in Clay Center, Abilene, and Salina. Anywhere people gather are breeding grounds for germs. To demonstrate, my assistant Roscoe is wearing this lovely germ costume. I look ridiculous! True, but it's a very effective visual aid. At Central Office Service and Supply, we've got the products you need to keep your office or classroom from turning into a germ factory. Like two-ply facial tissues in a 30-box carton on sale for $27.79. Or how about hand sanitizer and disinfecting wipes all on sale? <gasps> See, that's just what we're trying to prevent at Central Office and Clay Center. For brutally cold Kansas winters like ours, you don't need the performance of your fuel to drop. Not when you can fill up with winterized premium diesel fuels at Farmway-owned fueling sites. Unlike other winterized fuel, Farmway fueling sites contain a 50-50 blend with number one diesel that gives you serious weather protection while optimizing power and fuel economy. So don't worry. Just fill up at a Farmway fueling site or request a 50-50 blend for your farm fuel deliveries. The Northeast Kansas first trials are in, and the Old EC 2414 Corn Hybrid takes first place with an impressive 208.6 bushel performance, outperforming 35 other hybrids in four locations. And if you're concerned about managing risk this season, ask about our new drought guard hybrids that are delivering record yields. Contact Old EC today at 877-692-4555. That's 877-692-4555. Well, the Clays of the Levy Tigers get it done here against the number two seed, Republic County Buffaloes, as they get 10 points from, or correction, nine points from Macy Franson and seven points from Emily Heber in this ballgame. 32 to 23 is your final. It was a 7 7 ball game after the first quarter. Remember, Republic County jumped out to a 5 nothing start in the game. Play center had a 17 14 lead at halftime, and Macy Franson hit her first three of the game to begin the second half. And Clay Center got really deliberate with the basketball. They took the air out of the basketball. They forced Republic County to either sit back and let them hold on to the ball or they were going to come out of the 2-3 zone. Uh, Clay Center would take two or three shots. They got one offensive board. They milked about two and a half, three minutes away just moving the basketball against the 2-3 zone. Republic County wouldn't come out of it. And then they finally stretched it to eight points and continued to, continued to hold on to the basketball. Then they got it to ten points. Republic County... Tried to get back in it. They were able to get a bucket, a couple of free throws, and then pressure down court and give themselves some chances. But the closest they would get would be six points down the stretch. And the Lady Tigers do a great job of executing uh, the uh, stall game, if you will, to hold on to a lead and then slowly just stretch it out. They hold Republic County to uh, second-half points of just nine total. Those all came in the fourth quarter. They were held scoreless in the third period when uh, most of that – style of game was taking place. The Lady Tigers are headed to the championship coming up uh, tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. back here in Hillsboro. They'll take on either Riley County or Heston for the uh, championship game tomorrow night. Post game is here. Give us a timeout. We'll come back and uh, give you a look at scoring leaders. And uh, here in a few minutes, we'll be taking you to Onega for the TVL. But right now, more from post game for the Lady Tigers coming up. Being a student athlete means carrying great responsibility because you represent not only yourself, but also your family, school, and community. Taking pride in academics is as important as taking pride in athletics. So whether in the classroom or on the court or field, develop passion for what you do. Be determined in your endeavors and work hard to achieve your goals. These qualities will help you succeed and find fulfillment now and in the next chapters of your life. We're proud to stand behind you, Tigers. We're Clay County National Bank, member FDIC. Do you believe professionalism should be rewarded? When you find a contractor who shows up early, works long days, gets the job done on time with expertise, cleans up so well you can't tell they've been there except for the fact their work is finished and looking great, you know that's the only contractor you'll ever want to hire. 
These are words that an actual customer has used to describe McGee Roofing. The customer has used McGee Roofing twice and will again. Reward professionalism, hire McGee Roofing. Hey, Tiger fans, the lights are on, the team is ready, and the coaching staff has put together a successful game plan for tonight's game. Have you thought about your insurance game plan? This is Jim Gearhan with Farmers Union Insurance. Let us help put together a game plan for all your insurance needs. We cover everything from cars, trucks, boats, and motorcycles to homes, combines, and businesses. We can even help insure your retirement. Stop by and see us at 426 Lincoln Avenue, downtown Clay Center. A proud supporter of Tiger Athletics. Back again in Hillsboro, the Clayson and Olivia Tigers get their eighth win on the season, eight and three now on the year, and they'll be headed to the Trojan Classic Championship game tomorrow night. It tips off at 6 p.m. right back here at this Hillsboro gym, and they will take on the winner of Riley County and Heston. They play later on this evening, scheduled to go about 6.30 tonight. 32-23 is your final. The Lady Tigers with the lead, just edging out that lead in the second half and then uh, winning it by nine. Kenzie Johnson led the way for Republic County. She had nine points. Scoreless, though, in the second half. Seven from Brent Hobelman. She was five of six from the line, four of four from the stripe in the second half of play. Also, Ashley Pockett would hit for five points, three of four at the stripe. Audrey Sheets knocked in one field goal. The Lady Tigers get nine from Macy Franson. One three-pointer, and then she was six of seven at the line. They also get seven points from Emily Ebert, so big in that first half with a half dozen on three field goals, and she was one of two at the stripe in the second half. Macy Diegman, five points next in line. Big bucket there late in the second half on a high post, low post speed, which stretched the lead back out for them. They get four each from Caitlin Bonnenbluff and Courtney Hamill and a three-pointer from Lauren Williams in the first half. And play center, eight and three now, and they are headed to this Trojan Classic Championship. Again, that tips off tomorrow night at six. PM. Now, there's still a lot to come today. First off, we'll be heading over to Onega with Bill Casper. We'll join him in just a couple of minutes uh, from Onega for a TVL consolation game, Clifton Clive Blue Valley Girls. Then he'll be bringing you the Washington County Lady Tigers against Axel. That's a championship semifinal game. The Lynn Bulldog Girls face Centralia. They tip off at 730. Then we're bringing you back here to Hillsboro uh, at the Tabor Gym later on this evening. That'll be for the Clay Center Tiger Boys. The Wiley County Falcons in a consolation semifinal game. Lady Tigers win it. They'll play for a title tomorrow night here in Hillsboro. They beat Republic County, the number two seed, 32 to 23. 